Well, how do there, people in the Viewerverse? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today jumps for you guys out there in the Viewerverse. Yeah, I've got some news. It's it's not a lot of news. There's not much to cover, but there's a little bit over on the old Twitterverse. There's an experimental branch update, and a few sort of new things that have been found in the game files, but I can only touch on a few. Hopefully, we're going to find some more and bring them to you on the 1616 podcast on Sunday. So we are planning to do a show this weekend. So yes, if you want to join us, hop on over to the Discord and hit us up. Uh, links to Discord are in the video description. Righto, so let's get into this, shall we, people? Righto, so heading over to podcast mode. And to the Sean of the Murrays over on Twitter, he has put out a picture of a station. It looks to be like a player looking out towards the station from what looks like the tail end of a frigate of sorts. And people have been wondering in the old comments when you read through the comments, does this mean we might get station overrides? I don't know. You know, they've been teasing us with a station override for over a year, so I wouldn't hold your breath, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, so that one, I, I really don't know. Anyhow, scrolling down to the experimental branch, I've hit this up, I've got it open in another tab. There's a few fixes and a few sort of improvements, shall we say. Experimental branch 0211, so this was just out yesterday, so I'm a little bit late to the actual game on this one. Story summaries for the various NPCs have uh, base specialists have been added to the collected knowledge page for the information portal. Didn't even know they were missing, to be fair. The living ship now uses the correct inventory labels. Yes, this was a little bit of a gripe. So the living ship, unlike the other ships, all the normal ships, fighters, haulers, etc. They've got, they've got like technology area and they've got general or cargo area. The living ship also has those right now, but they should be reverted back to how they were before, which was organ chamber. Yeah, so an organ chamber instead of technology, and I can't remember what the other, the other area was. I think it was expanded sacks or something weird like that, wasn't it? Or was that how you actually increased? It was something, storage sacks, I don't know. Yeah, so fixed a number of issues that could cause inventories to be scaled or scroll incorrectly. So there's two there related to inventories, so it's nice that they've bundled them right next to each other. This one didn't affect me, didn't notice it, the living ship one I did. Okay, fixed an issue that could scramble information important to modders. I've never modded No Man's Sky, so I have no idea what that is, but hopefully it's going to make it easier for Kurt and Co to access the game files, I'd imagine. And hopefully, yes, like I say, we're coming to you with the uh, 1616 podcast, myself and Kurt. Kurt is the maker of the No Man's Sky Assistant app. If you haven't got the app, what are you doing? Get it for your mobile device. It's very awesome to have on the go. Brings you all the latest No Man's Sky news, community spotlights, all sorts of stuff. I can't rate it enough. Get it for your mobile device. I'll put a link in the video description. Okay, fixed a number of memory issues related to FSR2. I don't know what that actually is, so who knows. Okay, fixed a number of multiplayer game invite issues that affected Xbox platforms. Right, just Xbox, you say. <laughs> yeah, well, we tried doing the um, egg giveaway this um, past week, and it, it really wouldn't go too well, uh, to be fair. Uh, yeah, people couldn't join my game. I was trying to join the Ogre's game. The only one I could join was his PC one. I couldn't join the PlayStation one. Uh, yeah, so, and also the weekend mission. So when we're trying to run that, we keep falling out of group. It doesn't actually hinge together properly. There's a lot of squiffiness when it comes to multiplayer and network settings that I really do hope get a little bit of fix and a little bit of polish because right now multiplayer is almost unworkable and that's i'm on playstation 5 so yes i think it's across all platforms say that they've just addressed it on xbox is a bit of a worry fixed a pc only issue that could cause network settings to be unavailable without explanation well i've been having it where my discovery server just keeps dropping out whenever it freaking feels like it is up one moment and the next moment is down and then sometimes i can visit bases and then other times i can't it's a pain in the neck yes yeah, so a lot of squiffiness when it comes to networking so hopefully they're going to be fixing that yes okay cool so what did assistant and no man's sky send me so as soon as the new experimental branch hit yes kurt hit me up with a message to say they've added in images for the capes so i can show you those images for the capes here they are on screen now so if i click these do i can i make them bigger 
Uh, yeah, there we go. So that's the worm type one. That's the worm lordy type one, I think, which is pretty darn cool, isn't it? I like all the little holes in the cape and how raggedy it is, but I'm loving all the centerpiece. It almost looks like a spinal column. You've got like a skull of a worm at the top. It looks pretty darn cool. We've got this one, which is almost like the child of Helios, which is pretty darn cool if you're using that as your main pet. But riding that child of Helios is a little bit cumbersome. You sort of fall all over the place and fall around. It's a little bit odd. And we've got... Oh, and we've got this one here, which seems to be some sort of a living frigate type one. And interestingly enough, it almost looks like your ship is inside the frigate. Now, if you fly up to your frigates right now and you fly to the front end of them, it almost looks like the mouth is big enough for a ship to fly in. And it feels like they've done that on purpose. I'm wondering if one day we might be able to enter into our frigates through the mouth end. Yeah, OK, who knows? I'm still waiting for this helmet to appear as well, which looks freaking darn nice, doesn't it? But all these are quick silver items said to come in after the actual grass so interesting i'm going to jump over to my playstation 5 play and um, i'm just going to hop out my ship we're going to go see johnny 5 quickly and see if he has actually got the last final bit of grass unlocked now i did go check the progress bars in the no man's sky assistant app and uh, yeah, it, it does show that we're quite near... Well, we've got the second... Like, that's weird. I really expected more progress on that bar. But if there has been sort of network issues and problems, maybe people just aren't running the Quicksilver missions, and maybe that's why we're not seeing the progress. But here you go. I can unlock the second clump of grass. But yeah, we're, we're, we're not too far into unlocking this last piece of grass, are we? No, you can see the percentage at the top there. It's only just pretty much started moving on that. So hopefully we're going to see the capes appear after this. And my understanding is the first cape that we're going to see is the worm cape. So yeah, if you've got the No Man's Sky Assistant app, you can actually check the progress bars of this on your mobile device. Let me show you that quickly. So let me just jump on in. And um, I'll make myself nice and big. So... On my phone, right here, I've hit the actual icon, and there it is in the middle. I'm hitting the... Oh, no, wrong app. Okay, wrong one. Let me just open it. It's the centre one. So you got that there. Then you want this tile down here, Community Missions. And you see the progress bar at the top. You can see how much progress we've done in unlocking the grass just by looking up there. And, yeah, I've hit next. And look, it says Titan Worm Cape. So the Titan Worm Cape is the next one to be had. At the moment, the images have... Oh, yeah, the images haven't come across as yet, but it says that it's going to be 3,000. 3,000 Quicksilver. But the write-up and the uh, flavour text is there. The Worm Lord towers above the dust. Okay, let me read it around this way. Dusty Earth. Its flesh becomes the sky. Transform the appearance of your exosuit in the appearance modifier. Pretty darn cool. Pretty darn sneaky. Pretty awesome. So that's the No Man's Sky Assistant app, and there's a heck of a lot more in there. There really is. It's, it's, it's a great little app. Yeah, so that's pretty much all the news that I've got for you, and hopefully we'd have a little bit more news on the 16... Well, the 1616 podcast coming this Sunday at around 4.16 p.m. GMT UK time. So, yes, be sure to be there for that. And if you want to join us live on there, I mean... If we haven't got much that we found in the game files, we're going to be talking about the Waypoint update and how we feel that No Man's Sky is now and hopefully what might be coming towards, well, maybe in this last quarter of this year or if not in the, this quarter of this year, what might be coming next year or even speculation around maybe their new title. So there's a lot that we're going to be talking about, but it is going to be heavy on speculation. So if speculation your thing, be sure to be there. It's going to be awesome. Anyways, have a good weekend. But I, well, I will see you for the weekend mission running, hopefully. Yeah, so this Friday, me, Kettle, and um, Wolfie, and maybe even Bobby, if you can make it. Actually, I think Bobby started a new job, so I don't know. There might be somebody else with us. But yes, hit us up, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the Friday. Take care for now. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.